ever am drinking. Oh, crrr. Best friends are hard to find, but I've been blessed with mine. No words can describe my love to you. It's undefined. Yes, we fight and we always bump it heads, but it's me who run to the end. If someone back, back, back to another, ooh, to another video, and for today's video. I will be doing a story time on how I got stolen from. And yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna be straightforward to y'all. Like, I'm not gonna be able to remember like all the stuff, but like, I remember like the important details, important facts that happened. So basically, um, don't mind. I'm getting a tripod and I'm really late, so yeah, that's the disclaimer. I will be getting this. So the lighting might not be perfect. So. No, really bad. That looks bad. Okay. okay. Anywho, basically, um, I was in like third and fourth grade, and if you see my title, my cousin. Well, you can see my title. Anyway, my cousin is the one who stole. I mean, you could see by the title, but you can see by the title that my cousin has stole from me, and yeah, I don't even talk to her like, like that no more, even though it happened in 3rd and 4th grade, they're very far from each other, so I don't want to talk to her like that, but she was also, okay, the whole mind is good, so that's, anyway, basically, um, I'm gonna move this bag. I'll be back to you when I like my the whole life situated. Okay. So I've got my whole life situated. So basically, we was in third or fourth grade, one of those time periods, right? And basically, I always used to bring like a lot of snacks. Like a lot of snacks. People used to be like, if I didn't have no snack today, people would be like, we your grocery bag at? Yeah, seriously, you know when you go grocery um, shopping, you get like mad stuff. So yeah, they used to call it that, but like not like a lot, a lot of stuff, but like a lot of stuff like just for me. I usually share it or I have beacon, so I'll eat the other half, like I'll eat some during beacon. I had it till 6 o'clock, so I'm sitting in that school till 6 o'clock, but I go to that school in the morning, period. Anywho. Anywho. Um, yeah, so basically... I'm gonna name her Rebecca. Um, her name actually starts with an A. Okay. And that's all I'm telling y'all. It starts with an A. Anywho, um, what's her name? What happened was basically she was um like going in my bag and like taking stuff because I was sitting in um class one day and we was in the same class. And that's when she asked my teacher, I'm gonna call her Miss Robin. Um, she asked Miss Ro Rebecca asked Miss Robin, right? Could she um go in a closet? And we had like curtains in our closet, so basically you couldn't see like you could see them go in, but you couldn't see like what they was getting because we had curtains. We had like I think blue or purple curtains, one of those, right? So basically, I didn't have no like suspect of it. Like she's probably going um in the um closet to get like a um pencil or like a pen. Well, we can use pens or like a ratio or whatever. So I didn't think much of it. So I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't even paying attention that much. But you know, I didn't realize that she asked the teacher to go in a closet. So basically, um, after she had asked the teacher to go in a closet, right? She came out, right? and I didn't hear like nothing like. This. I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing like a zipper sound. I didn't hear nothing. Whatever. That's when we had lunch at 11.45. I go to lunch. Right? I go to lunch. I, no. I didn't go to lunch. I was in a class and you know in like um, elementary school you only stay in one class. Well, in my school. I don't know about anything, but I'm pretty sure that you only stay in one class at elementary school. But now in sixth grade, you have to like go to multiple classes for like different subjects. So basically, we did like math and LA in one room. 
with Miss Robin. So, I'm, I'm looking at my book bag. Sorry, I'm looking at my book bag, and I'm like, "Is my snack?" And I was like hungry. I was mad. I was like, "Oh my gosh, where's my snack? Where's my snack?" So that's when I went downstairs, and I'm like mad and then like upset and just sad, like all types of feelings, right? That's when. My friend was like, like, where's your grocery bag? You know, joking around, like, where's your grocery bag? Because I always bring snack or And I share it with people who don't have snack or just my friends. And I was like, I don't know what it's in my store or whatever. Because I remember, like, going to the store and putting it in my little bag for school with my mom. And then was like, oh, like, I'm going to share with you because I had those with my best friends. There's two of my best friends still this day. So basically, yeah, well, I was a man, I sit down, Rebecca, she pulls up the same stuff I have, because I remember some stuff, I remember that I had this, 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 I forgot what I had, but I remember the certain stuff that I had, because I bought it, I wouldn't remember everything if I had like a grocery bag, right, sorry, my back is like for the kitchen, okay, so I remember some of the stuff I had, um, like I'm like, did, who bought you that? She's like, my mom. I'm like, who bought you that? Like, I click like I didn't hear. I'm like, who bought you that? Like, my mom. I'm like, who bought you that? She's like, my mom. I was like, okay, my mom will be that too. Really? That's when. Flaws. That's when. After that, she was like, my bad boy, bear, feelings over there. I didn't, I didn't care. Because I knew she had stolen it. Oh. What did you do? I don't know what I just. Anyhow, yeah, she had to do that with her random name. And like, I'm like, do like, you feel bad for her? But like, I don't, I, I don't care. I don't, they don't care. Like, if she took my stuff, why would I, why would I care? But I didn't care. And I wasn't like that type to get mad over no reason. Like, but I know she stole it. It was suspect all over her face. Like, no one is. My mom bought me it. My mom, like, I don't want someone is lying. Especially my own cousin. Like, she acted like she couldn't ask me. That's the most thing that got me upset. She acted like she couldn't ask me since she's my cousin. She acted like, she's, she acted like she was, like, one of my friends or so, associates. Or classmates. She just acted out of nowhere. Like, like, if they stole from me, like, I would still be mad. But, like, like they can't ask me because I know I would say no. I'm a person that say no to something. But I think it's a lot. But, yeah, so that's what happened over and I'm gonna miss this thing. So I'm saying, oh my gosh, like she, like she can't like ask me, and I will say, yeah, she's my cousin, my best friend. They ask me, and I say, it's basically my best friend's like, check that she can just do that. She gotta take the whole and still of me. Yeah, I kept questioning her whatever. Next day come. It got the same exact thing happened. I used to, now I started bringing like ever since I stole it. I spoke for bringing it. And I knew like my heart, like your gut is always right. Your gut, trust your gut, not your heart. Anyway, I started bringing like, a little bit of snack so I could remember what I had. The next day come, exact same stuff I had. Next day come, the exact same stuff I had. Next day come. The exact same stuff. I told my mom a whole situation happened. You know, I'm not gonna get into that. Probably gonna do a story on that, but no. A whole situation happened on that. So, so for real, she said, then, like, before this happened, rewind. My teacher, I already told my, my mom, I told my teacher. That was the whole situation about, like, she told my teacher, and then my teacher, I gave him questions, like, was she doing this? Like, oh, I was like, yes, yeah, she's doing it for like three months, all the way to like the middle of third grade, I guess, to like the end of the middle of fourth grade, I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna exaggerate here. But yeah, that's what she did. And yeah, I was like, let me stop doing that. Anyway, so we're thinking, that's it, that happened, I'm going to situation. And she did it again, but it was an incident at my house, Rebecca. She was buying twenty dollars and was like, Mom, can you give it? Right? So she goes over this to drink out of the kitchen. 
I'll show you can I get it back and I'll put them out to a box you like two dollars and then come and like not like she didn't just throw I didn't have no money though like she probably just didn't see me. Right? Right? Next day come. Be like we don't we gonna do the ten dollar um challenge at um Dollar Tree because like I was just gonna record it was I didn't have YouTube back then. Whatever. I was like I'm just gonna record it, whatever. Um then you I was like eight or nine. Right? That happened. Um after that happened, right? I was like, mm, she's a snow. Mom gave me the twenty dollars, right? Cause I was gonna break it for change, so I could do the ten dollar challenge with her or whatever. Cause I had like two tens or like two. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't have change. That's basically the story time how I got stolen from. And yeah, I hope y'all like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell so I can be notified every time me and Jay post a new video. But it's just, um, as you see, we don't really see each other that much. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're still gonna do videos and try our best to do videos with y'all. And yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below. Hit the notification bell so you can notify every time we post a new video. And yeah, there will be a giveaway on my first a thousand subscribers, or I might do a uh, hundred subscribers because we're almost there. We're at 50 subscribers. Keep doing all the stuff I'm like, you know. And bye, y'all.